All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Last episode, we built the Skylake build. Very, uh, very simple looking build using a 6700K and a 980Ti. And I figured since, you know, we've already started building with the Intel chipset, Intel platform, we might as well continue doing that. And today we're actually going to build a KB Lake PC. And then the next video after that, we'll build a Coffee Lake build and then move on to some other crazy computers and all sorts of different random stuff. But for today, we're going to be building a KB Lake build using, of course, a 7700K as well as a GTX 1080. Not sure exactly which one I'm going to use just yet, but I already know what case I want to use. And this case is actually a really cool one. Uh, I'm sure there's been plenty of build videos, not only in this game, but in real life using this case. But it's actually a really nice looking case. That is the Corsair Crystal Series 570X RGB. Now this is the kind of case that I personally would be like sort of scared to own. Because like this thing falls, it's completely game over. Because as you can see, it's completely made out of uh, tempered glass. Temper tempered, I almost fucked up saying tempered, which is... Stupid, but we have tempered glass everywhere. Side panel, side panel, the front panel, and the top panel, of course, is all tempered glass. So, like, one wrong move, man. It's game over for this case. But I always thought it'd be cool to do a build in this case in real life. Just because it'd be a really nice centerpiece to a setup. Especially with RGB and stuff, which is what we're going to be going for today. We're going to be throwing in some RGB into this build. And... RGB is cool, it doesn't always work as advertised, I found with you know my setup that I have here at home. But RGB can make a build look really nice, especially in a case like this where it's all tempered glass. And even having color schemes for this build in this case could look awesome as well. well like I said, we're going to stick in the uh, KB Lake series of Intel processors. I'm kind of having some acid problems right now, so I do apologize if if uh, I have to stop talking here and there. But we're going to be using, of course, a Z270 chipset, which we did use for the last build, uh, mainly because the boards that they had for the H170 uh, or Z170 chipset or whatever the hell it is, I can't remember, uh, wasn't very good. I think it's H170. Let me just, let me just fucking look real quick. I don't want to be... It is H170. Okay, I was right. But those motherboards aren't very good. So we are going to be using the Z270, of course, because this is a KB Lake platform. We're going to be using the Gigabyte GA Z270X Gaming. I don't have to say the whole name, but this is the, uh, the motherboard we're going to be using today. It's got quite a few little tidbits of RGB in it. And we're going to be sticking in a good old healthy amount of 16 gigs of RAM. Because this is a quad-core processor, nothing compared to like uh, the 9900K now and the 9700K. This is your standard quad-core, you know, hyper-threaded processor, and it'll look pretty good. Since this, this is an RGB build, we'll be using RGB pretty much everything. And to go with that, we're going to use a kit of the Corsair, the Corsair Vintage RGB Pro, which is actually the RAM that I have in my main computer. But actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this isn't a planned build or anything. So let's actually use, since we already used the Corsair memory in my build when we, re when we recreated that in this game, let's use the Trident Z RGB RAM instead. And we'll use an 8 gig kit of the 3000. Now that is perfectly fine for an Intel platform, especially KB Lake. Uh, speaking of that, of course, let's go ahead and stick in our processor, which will be the i7-7700K. Stick that in right here. We are going to be using an AIO. This is the first semi-water-cooled build, I guess you could say, we're doing uh, in this series. Just using an AIO for now. Uh, one of the future builds will have, maybe even the Copy Lake one, will have a water cooling loop and everything. It'll look really awesome. But let's go ahead, throw on some thermal paste real quick, and then we'll add in some storage. For storage, you have quite a bit of storage options in the back. You can mount, you know, two, 3.5 inch. Uh, you know, standard SATA drive spinning 7200 RPM, whatever the hell, as well as through 2.5 inch SSDs or hard drives if you are so inclined to do so. But we'll actually stick in our power supply. It's usually what I normally do first, but in this case we didn't. And this is a high-end build, so got to think of upgradability in mind. Maybe you want to add a second 1080 down the line or something. We're going to throw in a 1000 watt Corsair power supply since this is a Corsair case. 
that way. Nothing's nothing's too crazy for this build because we got plenty of power to back it up. So now that we have that in, let's actually put some storage in here. This is a pretty high end build, so we're gonna go with a good old three terabyte hard drive, and we're also gonna stick in a 480 gig SSD, 2.5 inch SSD. Sorry, let me let me actually scroll down a little bit more here. 4 480 gig Corsair, uh, 2.5 inch SSD, SATA SSD for you know put some games on there and stuff, and we will stick on a 240 gig Corsair M.2 drive as well. So we'll stick that in at this top slot right there. So it shows up, looks pretty nice. And that's gonna be our storage options. Plenty of storage for this build. So let's go ahead and add our CPU cooler, which is I'm going for RGB. I won't be using a Corsair one because they do have, of course, the Corsair coolers in this game if I, if I search it, but the fans don't have RGB. It's just the CPU block itself that has RGB. I'm looking for a full blown RGB, you know, system here. So I'm gonna stick in this Gamer Storm uh, 280, 280 rad right here. This bad boy it has all the RGB you can need and more, and fits in the case perfectly fine. We can actually put a uh, uh, fucking fan back there. I couldn't even say that word. We can put a fan back here as well. Some of the cases in this game, for some reason, when you put in a radiator on top, be it 360, 280, 240. Uh, interferes with the fan back there which uh, I kind of like aggravates me because I like having fans in the system but uh so some cases we can't even really do what I want to do in them because of the fact that these tubes you can't orient this CPU cooler how you want you can't flip it around the other way it just goes in like this which is kind of an unfortunate but in this case it does work as you can see it fits perfectly. We added another SP120 back here just because that's what we already got on the front, so we might as well add it. And let's add our graphics card, which will be a GTX 1080 as well. So let's go ahead. I could just type in 1080, but that is completely fine. And I don't really know which one I want to add since we do have a gigabyte motherboard. Let's actually add this Oris Extreme graphics card in here. Since we are have do have this, oh, I actually fucked that up. The PCIe slot is on the top here. That is my bad for not looking at the orientation of that uh, PCIe slot right there. But yeah, we'll add that one just because we have a gigabyte motherboard. Might as well do a little bit of matchy matchy and add in a gigabyte 1080. Let me add 1080 in, and bam, there we are. Add this Extreme Edition 1080 in like so and looking pretty good so far let's go ahead and add our cabling which we will use of course standard if it wants to load i don't know what's happening here we'll use the ribbon ribbon braided plain black i can't talk today man maybe i'm talking a little too fast but let's start cabling this up and i actually will show you guys my free build settings as i mentioned doing that in like the first episode and i never got around to doing it but i'll actually show you that right after we put in that last cable right there. If I go to uh, here and hit free build options, you can see I have everything checked except for this one. I don't like when it automatically does the cables to the parts. I like doing that myself, so that's why I have that off. Just wanted to mention that. But yeah, that is pretty much a completed build. Apparently, the retail value of it is $2,800. I don't know where in the hell this motherboard is $430 bucks and this processor is even that expensive anymore. It might be still that expensive i don't i don't really know i don't stay up to date with intel too much because i do have a ryzen processor but let's go ahead and add everything back to the case add in the dust filters add in the top panel add in of course the front panel and then of course the final two side panels for the completed kb lake build with a bunch of rgb very sexy looking computer if i do say so myself let's pop in our usb drive and do a first boot on this bad boy and bam look at all that rgb that doesn't exactly look like rgb yet because it has to be configured but we'll do our xmp overclock as you can see we got the 7700k showing up there 4.5 gigahertz 4500 megahertz so that's standard conversion right there 16 gigs of ram and 1080 as well as our storage showing up there as well sorry if i'm messing up my words a lot i kind of don't know what the hell's happening to me maybe i'm talking a little too fast in this video i really wanted to get this one 
gets this one up for you guys. I, I get excited making these videos too. That's that's another reason why I'm so winded. I'm just I'm, I enjoy making these videos. I really do I enjoy talking about computers. Kind of sucks when I talk too fast and mess up my words because then it sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about. But I love computers, and that's why I, I probably sound like I'm out of breath because I just I just love talking about computers and this game just allows me to build whatever the hell I want because I can't afford to do it in real life. But I actually forgot to add a couple of extra programs in here that I'd like to add. We will not be overclocking the GPU this time around so we will not be installing that program. Kind of just want to run this Gigabyte Extreme graphics card at its you know stock overclock whatever factory over factory overclock to whatever the hell it wants to do. So let's go ahead and set up our RGB lighting to be, of course, full RGB, and we'll set this to be a nice white, just to look pretty, pretty cool. And bam, there you have it. The KB Lake build complete with RGB out the ass is done. This is the build, man. And if, if, if I had this build in real life right now, honestly, I, I wouldn't even be complaining, dude. I'd probably be set for couple of years maybe upgrade the processor to like a coffee lake or something if i'm on the intel platform but oh yeah i think you'd have to upgrade your motherboard anyway so you might as well you might as well switch to ryzen or something keep your keep your graphics card if you want your streaming or something switch over to ryzen but uh for primarily being a gaming pc intel is pretty much the way to go that's all you're going to be doing but uh very very solid build of course the back's nothing to nothing to rave about but uh the front looks pretty good this side looks great Looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and run our uh, stress test on this computer. See what our max wattage is. Since we did put a thousand watt power supply in this PC, we will have to see what our max power draw is. Probably not gonna be super high or anything. Honestly, you could probably get away with like a 750, 850 watt power supply in this thing. But like, you know, if you're gonna upgrade, since this is a high-end build, you got a little bit of leeway to do so. Maybe you pop in like a eight, Eight core processor in the build or something you want to throw in an extra 1080 down the line to keep up with the games and, and there's there's our there's our power draw 300 and 301 which is kind of weird i feel like it'd pull more than that but even my build doesn't pull really anything close to that but let's go ahead and run the benchmark on this thing as you can see i didn't mention it in the beginning because i just get so excited making this damn making these damn videos and we still got the other two builds up right here this is uh, of course my build the mesh 5c uh the first video we did this is the second one which was the sky lake build and now this is the kb lake build we got a full workbench going on here man and this one's gonna be put over there once we get the next video but let's go ahead and run a benchmark on this pc and see how it compares to the sky lake build which got a score 5702 as well as my build, which got a score of 6649. And in my build, you know, we have the better processor, the Ryzen 7 2700X, but this build has the 1080, which is a little bit better than what's in this one right here. So we're gonna run this benchmark and we're gonna see what score we get and how it compares to the other two PCs on the workbenches. Let's go. All right, guys, so the benchmarks have been completed. I actually ran the benchmark on all three computers just so we can kind of compare uh, the KB Lake build to the other two more accurately. I'm also a little, a little more calm now. I was getting a little hyped up over there when we first started recording because I just, I really do love making these videos. It's so much fun. Uh, it allows me to share my love of computers without having to go broke trying to buy a bunch of parts or, you know, no one's going to sponsor a channel with 270 subscribers. I'm, I'm just saying, but we got the benchmarks done and it's time to compare the cable lake build where of course we got to show the score it got first which is a 7263 5555 on the cpu and a 7680 on the graphics score so this 1080 kind of was a saving grace of this one <laughs> a little bit but uh, let's compare it to the sky lake build first so you know we got a 5555 on the cpu here uh, the 700k actually it landed not even that far off of the kb lake since you know the 6700k is still a quad core hyper processor on you know slightly older architecture compared to the 7700k but the score really isn't like that much different as you can see it's 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 like a frame different so even if we had 6700k upgrading to the 7700k really isn't isn't like worth it especially because you gotta upgrade your motherboard too so actually i don't think you do you might yeah, you do. I think I don't. I don't freaking know how Intel works. They're so confusing compared to AMD and the AM4 stuff. It's so easy, but 
I digress. Uh, but the graphic score for the 980 Ti was a 5,828. So the 1080 definitely pulled the load here in comparison to the processor for the KB Lake build. And of course, 1080 beats the 980 Ti. Of course, I'm already getting winded because I just love talking about this shit so much. But whew, let's take a breath. Let's take a damn breath, everybody. And I compare this to the um, my build, the 27X Ryzen, whatever. I'll just call it my build, Colton's build. I don't have a name for my computer like most people do. I just call it my computer that I really enjoy playing games on. So, CPU score 5,555. Obviously, the Ryzen 7 is a uh, faster processor, I believe, as well as you know more cores, more threads. So, well, it's not going to be surprising to see that the CPU is a fucking 8,739 compared to 5,555. It's just night and day difference. But the reason that the Cape Lake build got a higher score is because of the processor. So, the 70 Ti and the uh, this bad boy right here are actually quite different if this game is anything to go by. Um, so the 1070 Ti got a score of 6,380, and this one got a score of 7,680. So, T-minus is uh, the Asus card, which is clock different to some other 1070 Ti's, and uh, you know, this one, which is clock different to some 1080 Ti's and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, the score can change a little bit depending on which 1080 you go for or which 1070 you go for as well. But that is how this build compares to the other two. Um, I, I actually think this build looks really good. This case is perfect for displaying uh, your love of RGB if you have any. But next time, next time, we'll be moving this bad boy down here and shifting these computers down to build the Coffee Lake build. And we're going to be going about as crazy as it gets for a uh, standardized uh, Coffee Lake build. And we're skipping the 8700K because. No, we're going straight. My voice died right there. We're going straight to the i9 9900K custom water cooled with a 2080 Ti. That's what we're going for. And we're going to see how that compares to this KB Lake build as well as, you know, the other computers we have up here as well. So that should be very fun. I'm excited to get to that video. And after that, we're going to start doing some crazy shit. So uh, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please let me know down below in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video where we build a Coffee Lake monster. So see you guys then. 2018 is a new year. I got to keep grinding. I got nothing to fear. I got to always stay clear of all the fakes of all the people trying to drown me in the lake. I'm going to keep writing. I'm going to keep spitting. I'm the king around here. I don't know who you're this. And if you don't check me out, you're really missing out. I'm the number one rapper. Why are you over there smoking cloud? Oh my God, baby. I'm